What is up, everybody? We are fresh off a sweep of Sunday's NFL player props, and I am here to give you my favorite NFL player props for Monday. We're talking NFL Wild Card Weekend, Super Wild Card Weekend, actually, Monday, January 15th. As I mentioned, on for Sunday's plays, we swept the slate going 4-0 on our four plates up over five units on Sunday's picks. Just an absolutely incredible day. We got David Montgomery and Aaron Jones anytime touchdown, and we had Stafford and Dak Prescott 300 plus passing yards, all four cashed. Amazing, amazing day. If you rode with me on all four or any of those four picks, make sure to comment, make sure to like the video to hype this up a little bit. That brings our total season results. We are up 23.51 units on these pumped up props with an ROI of 12.24%. So finally, after this hot streak that we are on, we got the ROI back up over 10%. Uh, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not already. But So for the next heater we go on and also our NBA plays have been on fire as well. So again, make sure to subscribe. And now we can get into these picks. So the first play we're talking in the Steelers versus Bills game. We're taking Najee Harris over... 15 and a half rushing attempts. This is at minus 122 odds at FanDuel. Now, looking at Najee Harris, this is a play that only hit in four of the first 14 games of the year. But in the last three since then, it's hit in all three. So he's, he hit it in the last three games of the season with 19, 27, and 26 carries. Now, I'm not expecting something that crazy. I don't think he's going to get in the high 20s. But I do think that this is going to be a game where they're going to give Najee Harris a lot of carries and they're just going to feed him the ball. I love Jalen Warren, very good player. He's more of a change of pace, scat back type of guy, not someone that you give a ton of carries to. That is how they use Najee Harris. Now the game getting moved, yes, the majority, the worst of the weather, that is, that is out of the way. Now that the game got moved, it's still not going to be an ideal game for passing and just an ideal game in general. The wind is still going to be a factor and it's still going to be extremely cold. So what that means is I don't think the passing game is going to be super effective for both teams. That also means I don't think there's going to be a ton of scoring. So you add all that up together, and I think there's going to be a ton of rushing in this game and a ton of rushing attempts for the Steelers, because I don't think there's going to be a situation where they're going to be losing by a ton and that they're going to need to abandon the run game. Now, the Bills defense has improved from the brutal stretch that they were on over the middle of the season, but you can still run on them. They can still be had on the ground. On the year, they are passing. DVOA is ranked uh, ninth, which is pretty good. The rushing DVOA is ranked 17th. So I'm not necessarily sure how efficient uh, Najee is going to be because he has some pretty gross games. That's why I'm going with attempts over yards. It's not a plus money pumped up prop banger, but I really, really do like it. That's our first play. Next up in the Eagles versus Bucks game, I'm going Mike Evans, anytime touchdown. This is best offered at plus 115 at BetSafe. But if you don't use BetSafe, it's also offered at plus 110 at Fliff. I will say Fliff is available literally in every single state. So I would recommend downloading Fliff if you don't use it. Now, I'm only going to have one pick for each game. I don't really know what to expect between the weather and the game getting moved in the first game and then how weird both of these teams are in the second game between the Eagles and the Bucks. I don't really know what to expect from either offense. On the Eagles side, Jalen Hurts has a bum finger and, and the Eagles have been a train wreck for like six weeks and they have no A.J. Brown. I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles scored one or two touchdowns in this game. Then on the Bucks side, they've had two grotesque offensive games in a row, including last week when they won nine to nothing, legitimately not scoring an offensive touchdown. And now Baker is banged up with a multitude of injuries, including an ankle. So we don't really know what to expect from these offenses. But what I do know to my soul is the Eagles defense has been historically bad, basically since the middle of November, somehow worse than the Panthers, worse than any other team since that stretch. The Bucks offense, like I said, they've had a rough two-game stretch. But prior to that, they were playing pretty well. And with how bad the Eagles offense is, I think that the, or excuse me, the Eagles defense is, I think that the Bucs are going to be able to move the ball. I mean, the Cardinals and the Giants both moved the ball with ease against the Eagles defense. And prior to that two-game stretch, again, the, the, the Bucs had been playing pretty well. Now, Evans hasn't scored in the past two weeks. Prior to that, he had scored at least one touchdown in six of the last seven games and overall on the year, he scored a touchdown in 11 of 17 games. So two game sample size where they haven't been playing well. Other than that, it's a touchdown in 11 of 15 and in six of his last seven. And the matchup against the Eagles, as I've been mentioning, literally could not could not be more juicy. The Eagles have given up the second most passing yards per game 
in the NFL, the second most passing touchdowns in the NFL as well. They've been terrible, terrible the past six weeks, just getting lit up by everybody. You know, Mike Evans is someone who Baker targets deep in the red zone, any opportunity he can get. These two, these two teams did play earlier in the year, the game in which the Eagles won comfortably. Mike Evans scored in that game. So for all those reasons, I like Mike Evans to score a lot in this one. I'm only going to have two picks for Monday slate because I don't want to, again, I don't really know what to expect. I have a tough time projecting and I don't want to pick, I don't want to have plays just for the sake of having them. So we're just going to roll with these two, but I'm very, very confident in both of them. So if you're riding with me on one or both of these picks, comment and let me know. If there's something that you like in the games tomorrow, comment and let me know that as well. Other than that, remember to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.